Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all. A little bit of everything slash gossiping reaction Marie's take. I have a story to bring to you guys. I have um, a spot where Michael Jordan coming from a restaurant. They asked him if he was approving of um, his son relationship with Larsa Pippen. And he clearly stated no. And I agree with him because sometimes when you, you know, when you have kids, you expect nothing but the best for your kids. But when you kid, when your kids fall in love with somebody you don't approve of, like, how do you, how do you bring it to them? How do you sit them down and say, son or daughter, what's going on? Why do you head this way? Why are you in it? What's in it for you? So let me read what's going on and then I'll give you my take on that. Michael Jordan doesn't approve of relationship between Larsa Pippen and his son, Marcus no and quotation it says no so let's see here four months after marcus jordan 32 went instagram official with wheelhouse wife of miami star larsa peeping 48 his dad is expressing his displeasure of course it's not just only dad disapproving of a relationship Marcus' dad is nba great and one-time rival of larsa peeping ex scotty scotty michael when leaving a dinner at paris a tmz photographer asked mj60 about his son's relationship with the only fan star at first he simply laughed it off before the paparazzi pressed further into whether he approved the poor athlete's response was simply and clear no <laughs> Oh my god, if she knows, Lhasa doesn't appear to be particularly bothered. She recently spoke about her relationship with uh, Tehran Hall, saying it's not about my parents, it, his parents, they are all happy, our whole family is fine, that's a lie. She also told Hall that the age difference with Marcus didn't bother her and that any animosity between Marcus' dad and her ex-husband didn't affect her either. Scotty has a, has a right to the way he feels. I live my truth. I am happy, she said. It wasn't like it was planned we were just together a lot with our friends and it's just so happened give me a break man give me a break don't don't give me that bull crap i'm not gonna take it number one this is a kid when his father used to play with uh scotty Pippen in the chicago going for practice or whatever they might not have been best friend body body but they were teammates so i'm sure you have seen the child come watch the game so you see sometimes women take advantage of a certain group of people i don't know what's wrong with uh marcus if he has some kind of self-esteem problem you have fam you have money i suppose uh supposedly you're educated i hope you went to school and finished your education Be i feel like all that thing is to bring him some kind of clouds you know how they you know they want to be famous they they dating this person because this this person is loud and always in the social media doing all kind of stuff just like the kardashian and i believe lots of peace uh, peeping is friend to the kardashian so you know he wants to be out and he wants to be famous not because of his father's fame but dating this woman and it is so wrong it's so not right to date somebody's you know i believe the whole thing with michael is after michael put the document out uh scotty Pippen did not like how michael portrayed him in the documentary so that kind of like start the feuding about you know them two guys but they used to play together so i'm not sure what's going on if i have to do more research i will to bring you more information but there was no way uh michael jordan would agree that his son date this woman you know it's not even about the age anymore it's like what's in it for you can you build a family can you have a few kids can you what can you do what kind of conversation are you gonna have with somebody it's just ridiculous period so 
Lhasa and Marcus who had been rumored to be doing uh, dating for months formally announced their relationship on Instagram with a post in front of a flower installation of Michael's jersey. Checks over spri uh, stripes. Pippen commented referring to Jordan's longtime brand loyalty to Nike. In early June, the couple spoke up about their relationship with their extended families on their separation anxiety podcast. Jordan said, I don't think there was ever any hurdles. I just think there was some shock value to the fact that we were dating. Cut maybe some people on my side of the family off guard a little bit okay i think he has some self-esteem problem and he wants to be out there wants to be knowing and since laura peace and a friend with the kardashian the always on the news have paparazzi he feels like since he did not make it to the next level to be a, a great basketball player just like his dad he doesn't have anything going for him it's okay to have money if you don't have fame it's almost like nothing now nah, you don't see all these guys with money having all kind of um reality shows because they want people to get to know them they want to be famous it's one thing to be famous it's one thing to be rich or, or being a billionaire people want to know other people to know that they have money period Lhasa is no stranger to the world of pro basketball, having previously been married to a Michael's former Chicago Bulls teammate, Scottie Pippen. The couple finalized their divorce back in 2022. What? That's that's a year ago. Are you kidding me? I was married to a really famous guy that was really cute, that had a good buddy. That was really successful. That gave me four gorgeous kids. Pippen said on the fellow Bravo star Melissa Golgars on this and display podcast. Where the hell are you going? Find a guy that I can like fill in. It doesn't have to be all of those, but like a few of those boxes. So you're looking for a good looking guy. That has a great body, but no fame. Get out of here. You want the fame that comes with it. Dating Michael Jordan's kid, you know, that will bring you some paparazzi. That will bring you some, you know, that will bring the talks. And this is exactly what's going on. Everybody talking about it. And I think it's, it's just not fair. Um, an exclusive interview with people. Peeping revealed that she hadn't talked about Marcus with her exchange husband. I feel like I don't ask my ex who he dates if he doesn't really ask me who I date. Okay, whatever. Yeah, no longer married, but for the respect that you have four kids with the man, I think you should stay away from his teammate. You should stay away from his teammate kids and uh, stop being a thought. Stop just want to be on the media because that's all you want. You want fame. And you know the only way you'll get it is being with Michael's uh, Jordan kids, the greatest of all time when it comes to basketball. So you get it. Again, I'm glad he clarified he doesn't approve of it. It is up to you guys to continue with the bullshit. But Michael say, no, I don't approve of it. And I appreciate his honesty. Subscribe and let me know how you feel. Bye.